Hi, in this chapter we will talk about dendritic agate. Mm. In our classification, we, we know that banded agate are the real uh, agate in sensu stricto, as the definition is chalcedony with bands, but that uh, mm, in the common use, uh, the term agate is used for all the chalcedony with inclusion, so moss agate, plume agate, dendritic and sargenitic. So uh, dendritic come from the Latin dendros, that is a tree, so is any structure with the shape of a tree. But there is actually two very different kinds of dendrite, um, three-dimensional and two-dimensional. Three-dimensional are mm, trees that are grow in in a colloidal solution with a three-dimensional shape. And uh, bidimensional are mm, uh, grow in a crevice, in a fracture, in a uh, very, very flat plane. Uh, and this a process that occur after the solidification of the calcedony. So we call primary the uh, three-dimensional dendrite and secondary the bidimensional, the two-dimensional uh, dendrite. This kind of dendrite is the more uh, common and is mm, uh, very common also in many rocks and many other minerals. Uh, basically, any kind of crystals uh, in the rock can uh, have some dendrite in a small uh, fracture or in small small plane inside the the, the the crystal or inside the rock and the three-dimensional primary dendrite grow in a jelly solution a colloidal solution so they are typical of chalcedony or opal uh, there is not other mineral that are not crystallized, uh, amorphous, like mm, this uh, microcrystalline silica, and <coughs> for that reason uh, the, the grow is floating in a colloidal solution. The composition of the dendrite is manganese, generically manganese, and we call uh, the, the mineral sal sal salamelane. And this is a mineral, this is a group of mineral, it's not a, a, a single mineral. And that all are oxide, more or less hydra hydrate of manganese. So this is some of the name I found of the composition of the salamelane. Mm, very strange name, difficult to pronounce, but uh, basically we will never mm, be able to distinguish inside the manganese dendrite. So we will call this uh, salamelane or more simply manganese dendrite. Uh, this is um, the typical dendrite, the, the secondary dendrite that are common in many rocks. Uh, this is the dendrite in uh, limestone, very famous from Solnofen quarry in Germany. And is uh, the dendrite are grow along bedding plane. So the stratification of the limestone is horizontal, uh, is famous for its fossil fish and crabs and many uh, animals. But in the same plane, we, uh, we can find the manganese dendrite. Also very famous are dendrite uh, uh, developed in the cracks inside quartz crystals. This is typical from Brazil, very used for produce gemstone, very nice gemstone. This is a little bit more rare stuff, uh, also from Brazil, is a dendrite grow inside a calcite crystal. And the, the dendrite are grow in cleavage plane of the calcite. So it's parallel to a face of the, of the crystal but inside the crystal. So all these dendrites are uh, secondary in, in the sense that are 
grow after the solidification of the limestone, of the quartz or the calcite. But secondary dendrite can occur also in agate. Mm, and usually uh, they grow between the, the bands. So uh, each band is separated by the other by a very thin joint and uh, in this joint uh, salamelane manganese can enter after the solidification of chalcedony and um, make a tree uh, of dendrite. So uh, the banding can be horizontal, flat banding or, or concentric banding. So in the case of flat banding is very easy to uh, to use the material for cut cabochon and specimen because uh, the dendrite are in a plane. More complicated is in the case when they grow on concentric banding because you have to cut around <coughs> the shape of the band. These are the more famous dendrite from India, from Banda in India. Is a river from the uh, south part of Ganja River, and there is a uh, uh, mine from many many centuries ago. This is another cabochon from India. You can see the um, dendrite enter uh, using a small fracture in, in the agate and then uh, the dendrite grow uh, in both directions of the fracture inside the joint plane. This also um, other cabochon from the same location and they are very popular. Uh, the variety were very tiny dendrite are all together or were two color with some iron oxide give the impression of more uh, pictoric uh, uh, landscape. And this and uh, uh, other two specimen, you can see the dendrite uh, usually entered from the outside and mm, grow inside the bedding plane of the flat horizontal agate. And this kind of uh, dendrite is more expensive and more rare because um, each uh, stone is only one piece. So if you find one dendrite, you can have one piece, one specimen. You have to cut around it, polish it, and you cannot have uh, a, a second uh, similar uh, specimen. At the contrary, for three-dimensional dendrite, if you find uh, a nice tree, you can slice it and produce many, many cabochon of uh, very similar, similar pattern. This is another dendrite from Banda, and you can see here the dendrite starts from a point, possibly a tube or some kind of structure, and then produce this kind of flower all around. This is another deposit of dendrite, uh, very mm, popular uh, some decades ago. It's from Brazil, but in this case the uh, dendrite grow along along the joint between concentric band. You you see here the the shape of the plane is a little bit more complex. So in this case cutting uh, the, the stones is quite complicated and it must to make free form with uh, strange ondulation so it's not so easy to use in jewelry also this is another dendrite from Brazil this is a quite flat specimen but just because the nodules are sometimes very big if Usually the deposit of the dendrite, a small one, here, few famous from United States, Th this is from Copco, in Northern California, and this 
I didn't read, but it's small stones. This is for from Cricket River in Oregon. Is uh, inside the Limcast. Uh, they have very nice and dried, but usually small sized. Very very small are the dried from Sweetwater in Wyoming. And this is another typical dendrite from Madagascar. They also are mm, formed in um, concentric banded, ba banding, but mm, just in the first uh, band, so all around the, the specimen. So you can polish a specimen or cut free form stones, but it's quite complicated to produce uh, a regular cup. And the, the primary dendrite, the three-dimensional one in Chalcedony, are uh, found in many places, but the most famous uh, without doubt is from Kazakhstan, and it was a kind of nodular uh, agate with very, very nice dendrite, very thin dendrite, uh, but in this case because they are three-dimensional, when you find a nice nodule with nice pattern, you can sli slice it. If the slides are very thin, you can produce many, many cabochon from the same nodule. And this deposit was uh, very popular uh, until a few years ago because uh, there was a cutter in in Kazakhstan, uh, very expert in cut these stones that make very well polished material with very very thin uh, slice. And now uh, this material is almost disappeared from the market, and they uh, are getting more and more expensive. Uh, very popular is the famous Montana moss or uh, small dendrite. It's called usually moss because the right here are very, very small. So when there is a complete tree, it's a quite rare and expensive piece. This is all mm, piece of Montana agate that are found in the Yellowstone River. Another kind of three-dimensional dendrite is in Robinson Range. We just see this material in the case in the video of plume, because this is really a kind of plume. It's tiny and black, but it's a, a plume. Uh, mm, Robinson Range give very nice dendrite, and in some cases very big tree can, can grow. Mm, but here we are a little bit at the limit between dendrite and, and plume and moss. And also, it's important to remember a couple of material very nice for his tree and for his landscape pattern, but they are more jasper than than agate. This is amethyst sage from Nevada, and is a kind of jasper with uh, very high calcedony content. And this is another material, uh, this Paiute agate from Oregon, with very nice color. But also this is a kind of jasper with uh, a kind of um, recrystallization of, calcedon uh, of calcedony. And this is an another mm, dendrite from Arizona, three-dimensional dendrite. So we can have three-dimensional dendrite more o o o o both in agate and in jasper and uh, in in agate is a normal process uh, of the family of moss and plume so just a different shape and in jasper is a, a, a point that indicates that the jasper have suffered a kind of um, transformation if in chalcedony so there is a phase in which uh, the jasper is becoming soft again is again mm, a colloid and in this state 
uh, the dendrite can grow inside the material. So uh, if it was hard, you you can have b-dimensional dendrite, but not three-dimensional.